So as we mentioned before, we've put a lot of work into creating our own live demo for customers. We feel that this allows everyone to put a face to the names and it really provides that next level of customer experience. In fact, we've been told by a couple offices that it's a little bit better of a demo than the ones that Open Dental gives, but you guys didn't hear that from us. Regardless, we put together something we're really proud of and wanted to share it with you guys. Normally, demos run for about 45 minutes or so, but for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and present just a snippet focusing on three of the software's most impressive e-service features, web forms, web scheduling, and the mobile app. So web forms are a feature with Open Dental that allows you to create, import, and then also send those electronic forms to your patients to make that office essentially completely paperless. These can be provided to the patient in three different ways. The first being a computer terminal in your waiting room where the patient can come in and sit down and fill out all the forms and then send it back into the office. You can also send it to an e-clipboard or a tablet that a patient can sit in their own seat and fill out. Or you can send it directly to their phone, which I'll actually be demonstrating today. So this is especially useful for offices still implementing any kind of um, COVID protocols where they have a patient wait, say, in their car until they're called in. This way, they can go ahead and complete any paperwork out in the parking lot or even from the comfort of their own home prior to coming in. All of these allow the patient to submit the forms and have them automatically be uploaded into the system. This basically will negate any kind of manual work regarding having to um, transcribe um, information from a form into the system or even scanning it yourself. So to send one to a patient, I'll go ahead and share my screen. And the first thing that we need to do is generate a unique link for the patient portal by clicking on Setup. Next, we'll click on Web Forms in the drop-down menu. And then from here, you'll see in the Web Form Setup module over on the left-hand side, all of your forms that you've either imported or created. For this demo, we'll go ahead and generate a registration form link. So I'll click on registration form and then copy that link to the clipboard. Once that's done, all you have to do is hit OK and then click on the actual appointment. What this does is that when you do text it to that patient, it'll auto populate with a little short sentence that pertains directly to the appointment that you're sending the web form for. You can add a little bit more context. Please fill out the registration form following the link below. And then we can go ahead and paste that link and then hit send. When we hit send, it'll actually get texted directly from Open Dental into the patient's phone. So what the patient will see is this message right here at the bottom and they'll be able to click on this link right here. This will take them to the patient viewer where they're able to fill out all of their paperwork. For this registration um, form, they'll be able to fill out their last name, first name, contact information, preferred method of contact, their address, insurance information, anything that you would see on the registration form. Once they fill all that information out, they'll go ahead and hit submit right here at the top left hand corner. As soon as they hit submit, it'll automatically be uploaded into your system and you'll be ready to go. So another feature is the ability for patients to go ahead and actually schedule their own appointments online from a browser or their phone. They can schedule recall appointments, they can schedule follow ups and even new patients can also schedule intro appointments as well. So to do this, we'll go ahead and click on e-services and then down here in this web scheduling section, we'll go ahead and click on advanced. Much like the web forms, this will generate a unique scheduling URL for the patient. So we'll go ahead and hit copy. And then hit OK. So in this case, because it is going to be for a new patient, we won't click on an actual appointment. We'll go ahead and click on the text button right up here at the top. And then go ahead and add some context. Hello, please follow the link below to schedule your new patient 
intro appointment. Paste that link and then hit send once again. Now you'll see that it just got sent, so the patient will be able to click on the link. So from here, this will actually take you to, again to the patient viewer where the, it will ask a couple different questions prior to being able to schedule that appointment. Has this patient had an appointment with us before? We'll hit no. And we are 18 years and older. And we'll go ahead and mark it down as a new patient for the reason of the appointment. Once you hit view openings, we'll be able to look at all the different scheduling options on a easy to read calendar. So let's say we wanna schedule something for tomorrow at 1 p.m. And then next we'll go ahead and fill out our patient information. Next, we'll go ahead and click on schedule appointment. And now it'll ask us to verify our identity. Hit send. And we get the verification code. You can punch that right in there. And now our appointment is booked. You'll actually see this reflected immediately on the schedule. So if we click on August 6th, we'll see that I have a, an, a one hour appointment with Tina the hygienist. And so last on the list, so all the doctors and staff don't feel too left out. We do have an office facing e-service in the form of a mobile app as well. This app can be downloaded directly onto your phone and it actually lets you check in when you're out of the office. So go ahead and open the app. And from here, you'll be able to actually go ahead and take a look at the schedule. You can actually edit the schedule, add any new appointments, check on all the different providers as well as the hygienist schedules, and go through the different months, days, and actually even years. In the Patients tab, we're actually able to go ahead and search for a specific patient. John Smith. And once we select a patient, we're able to check on their patient information, any appointments that they have, any allergies that they might have had entered in, and their prescriptions as well. You can also go ahead and send email to them directly from Open Dental. You can also call them directly from the app. You can send them a text message, and you can check on their electronic prescription statuses. And the messages tab, you're also able to go ahead and take a look at the entire comm log, not just pertaining to a specific patient, but with everyone. And then lastly, in the settings section, you're able to add any pharmacies, make any changes to settings, and also switch users as well as log out. So those are just three of the many awesome features of Open Dental.